Well, have you seen brand, Omaha's brand new digital library? This thing is it's called Do Space, and you'll find it at one of the city's busiest intersections right there at 72nd and Dodge. Using Do Space is free. Here's Kayla Thomas to show us what's inside. Let's face it, technology can be intimidating. They know that here at Do Space, so they're inviting all of Omaha to put aside their fear and just jump on in. So what exactly can you do here at Do Space? Here to fill us in, the Executive Director, Rebecca Stavick. Thanks for having us here. Thanks for, thanks for coming to check out the space. For people who don't have the opportunity to come inside yet, not until tomorrow, what is Do Space? Do Space is a community technology library and innovation space for the public. So we're all about um, access to technology and innovative learning opportunities for people at all, at, at all ages and all levels. Who is Do Space for? Who can use it and what will they find here? We really serve everyone in the community. So that could be kids coming in, learning how to code by using robots, and or it could be senior citizens coming in um, and attending one of our community groups that's for seniors, led by seniors, um, and they can get, you know, kind of tech troubleshooting with their devices. So um, our goal is really to serve everyone at all levels. So like I said, basic, um, basic to advanced. Um, that's kind of what makes our whole project really interesting is that we will serve anyone who walks in, but even if you're an advanced, let's say computer programmer, and you're looking to learn a third or fourth uh, you know, coding language, this is also a place for you. Why does a city like Omaha need a place like this? There is a pronounced digital divide here in Omaha. There are a lot of folks who don't have the internet or computers at home. So that those folks can come to do space now once we're open to utilize the equipment that we have. But in addition to that, increasingly more and more people have access to technology, but their digital skills aren't quite what they could be. So this project is really going to help um, boost digital skills to the next level in the community. The digital divide that you mentioned, that's something that you guys really took into consideration with choosing this location. Yeah, yeah. So we're right here smack dab in the middle of the city, 72nd and Dodge, and this was a really strategic location for the folks who set up the project. Um, we really wanted to make sure that we reached as many people as possible, and this particular intersection is really easy to get to from anywhere in the city. You can get here through the bus system really easily, so it's almost a transit hub for Omaha, so that's why we picked this, this location. The opening is coming up tomorrow. What's planned? What can people come and see and do? Yeah, so we're going to do our ribbon cutting right at 9 o'clock. We're going to have an all-day scavenger hunt, which will be a really family-friendly activity. Um, people will be entered into a chance to win some technology prizes. And we also have some really cool mini learning events throughout the day. You know, this is going to be a really inclusive space for everyone at all levels. So um, I, I really hope that people can come here, experience the kinds of technology that they've never seen or heard of before and just feel comfortable kind of getting to know it so we're hanging out right now in your beautiful colorful teen room we walked past a room that's geared towards children what opportunities are here for families and is this a place where families should come together yeah absolutely we're gonna do all kinds of really fun stuff with kids here in our teen room you can see we've got a pretty large video wall we're gonna have some educational games for teens we're also looking at doing some workshops for teenagers to learn how to build their own games um, and then for kids, we've got a Littles Lab, um, and we're going to run kind of a high-tech type story time multiple times a week. And if you envision that, it's kind of like um, a bunch of kids coming together. They're learning how to code with robots that are kind of age appropriate and utilizing different kinds of experimental tech for kids. It's going to be a lot of fun. We've got a lot of opportunities in terms of connecting with people one-on-one. -on -one. So if you wanted to come in and help other people learn email, learn Facebook, maybe learn that third or fourth uh, programming language, you can do that. Um, and we also have some really fun opportunities in our 3D lab. So if you're interested in 3D printing, 3D modeling, um, and you'd like to work in a group with other people, um, this is going to be a great space for you. Obviously the opening tomorrow is a great way for people to come out and see what's going on. Where else would you recommend they get started if they want to learn more of some of the things that you've talked about today? Yeah, on our website, dospace.org. It's going to show, show you a whole bunch of other things about um, some of the programs we have coming up in, in November and December. Um, so definitely check out our website. You'll find out a lot more.
We're continuing our conversation here at Juice Space with HDR's David Lemke, who's the design director for the project. What's the vision behind the design here at Juice Space? It's an interesting vision because when we began this project, it really started with a question. Uh, what's the future of the library, of a library? And so it was really an open-ended idea, and we didn't know that answer at the time. The Do Space is a brand new type of building. It's a brand new type of facility. So establishing that idea was something that was very important early on, but it took a lot of research, a lot of effort uh, to uh, kind of discover and take a journey to find out what it's going to be all about. This space is so different than anything else that's out there. What things did you have to take into consideration when you were coming up with the design? Well, I think that you know we had to first kind of embrace the idea of uh, technology and the fact that we live in a digital age and that's going to continue to be a digital age. It's quite different from an analog era. And so considering that, we had to kind of really tap into that and find out what the physical space could be in response to that, that idea. And so we needed a facility. Um, this is really an ideal location. It was an existing building before, so that's also a bit unique. How do you take a building that was designed and built back in an analog era and bring that into the digital age? And when you come to the facility, your first impression and your understanding of the facility, it's very open, it's very inviting, I think, and intentionally a bit provocative, but in a very positive way. It really uh, kind of moves people to want to seek more and find out more of what's in the facility. Um, so you kind of come in and get a glimpse of, say, the 3D lab. And that's just off to your left as you enter. Um, and that's after you're greeted by a giant digital screen. And so then off, off to your right after you enter, you, know, you have an entire sort of computer area that runs the length of the facility. And uh, I think then beyond that, there's also spaces for teens. There's, there's spaces for littles, uh, little children, called a little slab. And so I think that process of discovery and the desire to kind of uh, seek more information out uh, unfolds as you go through the facility. We know that HDR is so invested in this community. Being a part of this project, why do you think Do Space is so important to our community? You know, I think there's this, this great question of what's the next great thing? We don't know. We suspect that it's probably going to involve something that takes a lot of technology to discover. We also don't know who's going to come up with that. And so the, the very premise of the Do Space, you know, access to technology for all people, is what it's all about because we don't know who that's going to be. It can be anybody. They can come from any demographic. They can come from any age group. They can come here and they can discover. And uh, you know, I think we're going to be watching for that next big thing and uh, see if it comes out of something like the Do Space. Well, the Do Space certainly is amazing. The design is beautiful. David, thank you for your time today. Certainly, thank you. And our thanks to Kayla. Here's yeah, the information really again. Neat. It's such a cool place because you've driven by it a million times yep. and you wondered what was inside. That's exciting. Uh, well, you can see it tomorrow, that grand opening celebration. It's going to be huge games, activities, and more. And it runs from 9 until 5 o'clock. Just stop in at 72nd and Dodge to see it for yourself. Check out the website, dospace.org, to see what's available. You can take a virtual tour. You can also reach Dospace via email. That uh, address is hello at dospace.org.